Once I moved out of my parents' house, I almost immediately started thinking about getting a dog. I had grown up with dogs and loved having them around the house. Several years later, we decided to get a dog. I love corgis and now that I am an adult, I could decide what dog to get. After doing a lot of research, we found where to get our new dog. Even with all the reading I did, I was still not prepared for how difficult raising a puppy would be. It is completely different than when you had a dog growing up and you swear that you'll help walk and help with everything and then you totally don't help. After having my dog Sophie for over a year, I compiled a list of what I wish I knew before getting her so hopefully if you're thinking about getting a dog you'll be more prepared than I was. 1. Potty training. Potty training seems like it will never end, but trust me, it will get better. We took Sophie out so often, sometimes every hour, and there were still accidents. And after a few weeks, it didn't seem like we were making any progress. We would take our eyes off her for one second and then she would pee. But after a few months, she would make it through the night and we didn't have to be watching her every moment. So if it seems like potty training isn't going anywhere, give it a few more weeks. It will get better and your puppy will start to understand with the proper positive reinforcement. 2. Save money for the vet. You'll be going to the vet so often it's like you live there. During the first couple of months, it seemed like we were at the vet every week. There are so many shots and checkups that new puppies need that you really are there all the time. And all of those visits get expensive too. But now that she's over a year old, we now only go for her yearly checkup and if anything seems wrong. It definitely gets better. 3. Socialization takes work. One of the most important things to do when you get a puppy is to make sure your dog is well socialized. A well socialized puppy creates a behaved, relaxed, safer dog. If your puppy is comfortable in a wider variety of situations, they're less likely to use aggression in moments of fear. Please do not forget to check the products in our description. Purchasing one of those products really helps our channel create more videos for you. Not socializing your puppy can lead to dangerous situations in the future. If not, your dog could be reactive towards other dogs and not get along well in a group setting. I live in a very dog-friendly neighborhood, so this would have been a nightmare because I see several dogs out every time I walk her. The best way to socialize is to have dogs come over to your house that you know are friendly and up-to-date with their vaccinations so there can be a puppy playdate. Puppy classes are also a good option because they learn basic commands and also they can play with other puppies. 4. Not everyone is a responsible dog owner. Like they teach you in driving school, in some cases you have to be a defensive dog owner. At the dog park not everyone is paying attention, so always make sure to have your dog's best interests in mind. If other dogs start playing too rough, never be afraid to separate the dogs before it gets worse. You never know if the owners are even paying attention. 5. The best puppy is a tired puppy. If your dog or puppy is bored and isn't getting enough exercise, they will busy themselves with destroying your house. Puppies, especially corgis, need lots of exercise, which some may find surprising considering how small they are. If you don't provide your dog with the proper stimulation, they will find it themselves. And walks won't always cut it. I would recommend long walks, playtime and also training to keep them mentally engaged.